Hello everybody, Lurgs here. Welcome to my channel. I'm here to save you time and money. And today it's the Siemens dishwasher. How to remove the filter, give it a good clean, and also we'll check the impeller. Make sure there's no blockages in there. Right, let's get cracking. The first thing you need to do is switch it off at the mains and unplug the dishwasher plug. And you're probably going to need your partner's toothbrush for cleaning. Lurgs, have you been using my toothbrush for cleaning the dishwasher? Um, no. This is the Siemens dishwasher here. So the first thing you need to do is open the door and then remove the baskets. You don't have to remove the top basket, but it does make it easier to get to the filter. Now the filter for this dishwasher is in the bottom here. Now to remove the filter, just turn it anti-clockwise about 90 degrees and then lift it out. Now this one is actually in pretty good condition. If you put in your plates and cutlery with not much food on, it's gonna be in pretty good order. The filter element literally just pops off and you can just give that a good wash. Now this is one from an earlier time when it was getting really disgusting and this is what they can look like. So it's very important to give them a good clean every couple of weeks. Now don't clean this straight into the sink otherwise you'll be unblocking your sink. So get rid of any debris straight into the rubbish bin. Once you've got rid of all of the dirt and debris as much as you can, you can then place it in some hot soapy water, take your partner's toothbrush nice. and just give everything a really good clean ready to go back in but we're not going to put it back in yet we're going to check the impeller first whilst i'm giving it a quick clean there's a link above now about how to keep your dishwasher hygienically fresh now there will be water down inside here so just take an old sponge soak up as much water as you can and just squeeze that into a bucket or into straight into the sink until you've got rid of all the excess water And then to get to the impeller, you just need to remove this clip. Now you can just use a blunt instrument like a metal spoon, don't use anything sharp. Once you've prized it out of the small clip there, the catch, you can get your fingers on it and literally just lift it up towards you. And there we go. Check for any debris just in this clip. We've just got a small bit of debris there. Just remove that. We can see here down by the impeller, we've got lots of debris and bits of food. Now I'm gonna to struggle to get this out with my sausage fingers. So I'm basically gonna use my partner's tweezers, which I think she uses for removing her eyelashes or eyebrows or something. And I'm just gonna use those and just try and get as much debris out as I can. Any sort of debris like this can block the impeller and stop your dishwasher draining properly. Prime examples for blocking the impeller are bits of broken china, bits of broken glass when you've been loading up the dishwasher, or bits of sweet corn and hard bits of food. So just carry on cleaning that, getting rid of every single bit of debris. You can take your partner's toothbrush again, just yes. give this a really good clean. If you can't get to some of the debris, try and get as much of that water out as possible so it's nice and dry. And then just get your vacuum cleaner down here with the nozzle and just try and hoover it out. Well, not hoover because that's a brand name. Just try and vacuum it out. Then clean your partner's tweezers. Make sure you give them a really good clean and then put them back in the makeup bag and hope she doesn't notice. Then we can just put this clip back in. It literally just slides into a groove and then you're pushing it downwards. And as you push it all the way down, then pull it outwards until that clip just pops into that groove there. And there we go. That is now popped in. Then we can put the filter back in. Don't try and force this. It should just lay down gently. Then turn that clockwise 90 degrees and it is locked in. And don't forget to put your partner's toothbrush back. And again, I hope they don't notice. And then it's time for a lovely cup of tea. Seriously, Lurgs, have you been using my tweezers? Oh. If you found that video useful, please subscribe by pressing this button down here so you don't miss more videos on how to save you time and money. There's also some other videos around the edges of the screen here. If any of those are useful to you, then you can select those now. Thank you for visiting my channel, everyone. I really, really appreciate it.